today we're going on a hike to Mount Chibidabo. I'm so excited, can't you tell? Getting to Mount Chibidabo is quite simple. Just take the metro to the Pu del Felicular stop. I think the rich people take like metros and, tra and trains to the, to the center of Barcelona. No, no, no. They take their helicopters, they take their limos, <laughs> maybe their mopeds. <laughs> From there, just go up. Use maps as your guide and follow roads and paths. <laughs> As you mosey on up or race up, you should come closer and closer to what looks like a giant antenna. Keep this landmark as your guide as you continue to stair climb, hashtag booty work, and hike up the path. <laughs> As you hike up, don't forget to stop and take in some views. You'll notice in the distance the famous little church atop Mount Tibidabo getting closer and closer to you. Finally, you'll come to what is actually known as the Torre de Cose Rosa. This TV tower was constructed in 1991, special for the 1992 Summer Olympics. It's the highest one can be in Barcelona. Once there, you'll keep following the path that will eventually lead you to a road. Once you come out onto the road, you can see the Parque Traciones, which means you are basically there. We were so excited to see the Ferris wheel was running. And I just thought it was so neat to have a little amusement park right atop a mountain overlooking such a beautiful city and the sea. We decided to keep walking up the windy little road and finally we turned the bend and there it was. Temple Expiatore del Sagrat Cor or the Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Walk up to the church itself. Of course, it's free to go inside and look at the beautiful architecture and style. And once you're through, take a break on the patio and take in the breathtaking view of Barcelona and the Mediterranean. Don't forget to celebrate your win with a nice little picnic with your girls. Before you head back, be sure to take in one last look at that view. Because you don't know if you'll ever get to see it with your own eyes ever again. To be completely real, it's more likely that you won't. So be sure to reflect on the moments of the journey as well. To head back home, simply go back the way you came. And voila! You've discovered Mount Tsubidabo. On the road.